Okay, let's have a look around this, uh, <coughs> excuse me, 1954, I think, uh, this one, a uh, Land Rover Series 1, 86 inch soft top, uh, 2 litre petrol. <coughs> you have to excuse me, I've got a very sore throat, so I sound a bit croaky. Um, finished in green. Someone at some point, I think fairly recently, has spent an awful lot of money on this one restoring it because um, it's beautifully straight. Um, it's got things like new tilt on it, uh, da -da -da, new back seats. Um, all sorts of bits and bobs underneath it uh, that are new. Uh, it's been repainted, resprayed, shall we say, and I think it possibly has got new front wings on it because it's totally and utterly straight, dent-wise. Um, I think the only bits that are probably original on it is possibly the rear tub and the and the doors because there's a, they're slightly wavy, but the front wings are, are superb on it. Um, fitted with a matching set of military spec Goodyear 750 by 16 uh, tyres on um, on the bigger rims. It's got three wheel front hubs on it. Three seats across the front, two, um, two bench seats on each side in the back. Sorry, bench seat on each side in the back for two people each. It's also got the, uh, the windowed style soft top. It's got tow bar with electrics, rear mud flaps. And that's about it, but uh, that's a rather lovely Series 1. Um, Let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Uh, very few bad bits. Well, nothing really I can really um, really put my finger on. <coughs> As I say, I think the um, the front wings have been replaced because it is beautifully straight. Either that or someone has, be has beaten out all the normal sort of dents that you get in the front wings of these. Paint finish is quite good on it. Um, so it was apparently sprayed rather than uh, rolled or brushed. There's a little tiny nick just down there, just in the, in the front panel. Tiny bit there. But otherwise, this is all nice. There's mounting on the bonnet for um, spare wheel as well. Um, all the dumb irons look nice. Obviously has had work on the chassis, but it all seems to be uh, in, in really, really good shape, actually. Um, as I say, we don't have any real history with it, so I don't know who's done it. But uh, whoever's done it seems to have done a very good job. Uh, looking down the near side, looks really, really straight down there. Um, bulkhead, all the vent flaps are all still in place. And all nicely, uh, nicely sealed and what have you. All looks like new seals. Um, all looks good round there. There's no evidence of patching or anything on the outside of the bulkhead. I think the only patch I can find is just inside, um, in the middle there, just by the, underneath the, the screen centre join. So I suspect it is the uh, the original bulkhead. But that all looks very good down there. A um, couple of very slight indentations in the doors, but they're very old. Um, let say they are the original doors. And it's got the correct perspex. Uh, side windows and everything. Um, doors are all in great shape, obviously these early ones have got galvanised frames and stuff. Uh, excuse me, suffering a bit. Um, inside here the, uh, the seats are in excellent shape, they look fairly new as well actually. And they're the proper sort of uh, spade type back ones. Um, yeah, there's a very, you can just see it just under the paint, there's a slight patch just in the top of the, uh, uh, just below the vent panel just there. But that all looks nice. Uh, the bulkhead in here and the tow board possibly been patched there, but it all looks nice around here. That's all good. Footwells are all nice under those mats. It's got a Smith's heater, but it's not connected actually by the look of it. No, it's not. Um, dash is pretty much uncut. I think the only thing you've got is uh, an extra dial on the other side of the steering column, uh, which is the working temperature gauge. But it's still got things like the uh, the headlamp dip switches on the um, steering column, which is nice. Oh dear. Tilt's in fantastic shape as it's pretty new. Very new in fact. Near side rear wing is all excellent. And looking under there, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it all looks very, very good under there as well. Cross member looks in great shape. Around the tail end, all looks pretty good. Just the usual slight damage there where the tailgate drops down onto a tow pack. Um, in the back here, it's all been rubberized in here at some point, but look at it. It all looks pretty good. These seats look new as well. All nice in here. And the tilt frame actually looks new too. Looking down the offside again, totally straight and really, really nice. Um, nothing there couple of again very very tiny sort of parking old parking dinks and donks in the doors but no more than that 
and that's really picking holes. Um, again, bulkhead, scuttle corners and everything all look great and down the A-post it all looks superb. All around there. Inside here on the driver's side, again seats are in excellent shape and the mats under here are just to, to keep, the, keep the muddy feet off. But that all looks nice there. It's been repaired up the side here. You can see where a, a section's been let in up the um, where the bulkhead to, uh, to tow board join is, but it all looks really nice. Not a lot more I can say about it. I'll put that back in a minute. Not a lot more I can say about it really. It's just a, a very, very nice, um, thoroughly sorted Series 1 that uh, somebody has spent a lot of time on. And money, I think. Um, that's about it, really. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on uh, 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further information. We take part exchanges. We take Visa and MasterCard, credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards. And we can have it shipped or delivered any way you like in the world. Certainly the UK and Europe, no problem at all. Apart from that, it goes on a boat. That's about it. And